Good morning. I cannot see. I've been up for a couple hours now editing the vlog. Um, it's currently 1.30ish right now. Finally finalizing the video and I'm gonna upload it, make a thumbnail, set it, schedule it so I can go on with my day. Ow, my arm hurts. I actually stayed up last night trying to cut up the clips. That made it a little bit easier, but still I stayed up till like 4, which led me to sleep in until 10. So that's sad. I need to eat because I have a habit of just waking up and working. I never eat so I'm more of a lunch liner supper girl <laughs> like at one day of just that and I'm feeling snatched already don't speak too soon knock on wood today we have a main channel video to film so I'm gonna do that <laughs> go drink some water first my sister woke up and made breakfast before she left to tease me she made some egg whites turkey bacon and then we got some like pork shoulder I think she fried this which I told her we should bake it instead just a better conscious way of cooking it I told you she didn't eat it oh either didn't see either okay but seriously I'm gonna get this off oh my god such a cool transition too cold I feel like this is going to be here until this weekend. Basically, I tend to have this thing where my time management is not the best. It, yeah, it's not the best. I could do better. How I schedule my day, I don't like to waste time on like things that are not priority. Say that box or finishing up my vanity. It's not priority to me. Priority to me is working. The amount of time I used to say clean up that area, I could have dedicated it to a main channel video. I could have dedicated that to finish vlogmas day, whatever. So that's how I see it. And then in my head, I'm like, okay, well, I can finish up the vanity on the weekend. Usually Saturdays are more lenient with me. I'm I'm not really sure why I'm talking about this right now, but my skin is glowing. You're gonna see a mess there for this week on contacts. We are the Kente. What a Kente go! Which one should we go for? I wanna go for something cool. Oh, I have this box of like current contacts I'm wearing. Somewhere in this pile, I have a bag full of all my contacts right there. I don't wanna go too fancy in this mance. I should just wear the contacts I have out already. I don't remember what these were called, so I can't like link it. How to put on contacts 101 with fit. So you wanna wash your hands, make sure they're clean. Take off your glasses, be blind, check. I like to open the case, that, that's a good start. I take my contacts out, yes, you can use a suction tool, which I did a whole video on that if you wanna watch. Solution, I make a little puddle in my hand, I squiggle it around and let it do its thing. Make sure your opposite hand is dry and the other fingers are dry. I like to wipe it right here on the forearm where there's no where you don't use it much. I like to pull my eye upward, downward. You put it in just like that, just like a professional, just like me. I'm crying, I'm crying a little bit. And there you have it. It should be easy peasy. You just want to repeat for the same steps on the other side. Sometimes when you can't tell if there's bacteria or not on your lens, you can lift it up to the light and look. And then sometimes you have a train of thought about your future and your past. It's everyday, bro. And that's how you put on contacts one on one with Faye. Okay, but seriously, on the rail, we're gonna film in here because obviously I can't film in my room. What do you want me to do? Struggle? Is that why you're here? Is that why you subscribe? Is that why you're watching Vlogmas? You watch me struggle on a daily? Mm, true. Valid. Hi. <laughs> so, um, I like all like put together, right? Yeah, um, I decided to keep my onesie on and I just like tied the arms into like a pants. My teeth is like shifting, so it's like hurting. It is time to eat. It's like 3 p.m., 4 p.m., whatever. I'm going for this again because I really like this. Uh, I'm gonna just leave that for my sister to have. So I just got done filming. I'm gonna have this makeup on me for 24 hours. However, I did do a separate little like intro video for a dating app. Um, I don't know if you guys heard of East Me East. No, they didn't sponsor me on this channel, but they did um, partner up with me on my main channel. I was required to make an account, which of course I would because I wouldn't promote something that I don't like try out. Yeah, playing around on the app last night, you know, like see turkey bacon is so so but yeah so i tried out the app just to see how it was i don't know never i never i never tried apps like that before so i i don't know so today consists of a lot of filming and just a lot of editing for my main channel so there's not gonna be much content in this vlog oh and i forgot to tell you guys i'm now on a vlogmas schedule so as you guys can tell, I didn't upload yesterday. This vlog is actually going on the 6th, the correct way of doing vlogmas, I guess you'll say. So that's why you didn't see me upload yesterday because I'm finally figuring it out and um, yeah. 
I don't like Caesar salad dressing and I don't like breadcrumbs, so. Uh, nope. I like ranch cilantro lime flavored. I know it's weird. A lot of people actually don't like cilantro, which I'm like white. I love any kind of garnish. I love mint, I love basil. Don't put too much. That's it. That's literally all you need. I put a little extra so my chicken can surround this. I lied, my sister did bake the pork. So I do have a bit of that oil on it. Taste test! Ready? Mmm. <laughs> I missed it so much. Mm, 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 mm. Girl, the dressing is everything. A little bit of the chicken. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I have such a small mouth, it hurts to chew sometimes. Ugh. I'm gonna go enjoy my food, so, um, two, two, while. Got done, got done eating. I forgot I had an advent calendar from YesStyle. It's heavy, it's heavy. Oh, by the way, this is the lipstick I'm wearing. As you can tell, it does hold on pretty well and strong. It's just the inner ring is gone because I was like eating. I really do like the coverage. It's not hard to apply. I really, really like these Power Matte Lippies. Ivan actually gave me a whole bunch of his and then I fell in love with them and then um, I bought a lot more. Here, let me show you. First of all, the application tube is so freaking convenient, tiny and small. Just watch the color, okay? Crazy. So pretty. <laughs> The color dries on your lip, but then it doesn't feel dry. It's actually, it feels creamy. Oh, highly recommend these. I have so many of these. I'll, I'll link it down below if you want. <laughs> Welcome to that filmy corner. Ta-da! So I think a couple months ago, Yesta actually sent a whole bunch of these to like a whole bunch of K-beauty bloggers And I forgot to open them, so today's day five. That means I get to open five of them <gasps> First one, number one, the original April Skin Original Soap I love these! Bless Number three. Oh, the packaging is so cute Ooh. Pew Four I love the niche. Let me This is number six tomato sherbet. It's the two-tone lip bar one. Last one, right? Oh my gosh, everything about this packaging. Look, it's a little blush. These are such cute little gifts. And with that being said, I think I'm just gonna be editing for the rest of the day, so it might be a little boring. I might close the vlog early today because I have so much editing to do and I wanna focus on my main channel so I don't wanna be like vlogging too much tonight. You know what's so funny? Last night when I went to bed, when I couldn't sleep, I was thinking about how excited I was to dream. And it's so funny that like I would think like that, I feel like, because who is excited to dream? Me, when you're dreaming, you're in a whole different dimension of the world. You're in a whole different world world it's ridiculous how our minds work you really think about it like how anyways where's my phone speaking of dreams oh my gosh <laughs> so last night i had a dream <laughs> i had a dream about my first crush ever not my first crush no not like i had a dream about my second real life crush when i say real life i mean like okay it doesn't count as in like nick jonas uh like i don't know fahrenheit do you guys know them the taiwanese boy band girl i was obsessed with Ariane yang yan lin i had him cover over my wall like all anyways we're not things we're not gonna talk about <laughs> i had a crush in middle school he's like married with kids now so like I'm not gonna say his name because that's kind of weird because I feel like some people watch me and they actually like are from town We've encountered each other so like hi if you're watching Nice to see you. I know it's kind of weird. Say hi to me if you see me in person <laughs> But basically, okay, story time. But basically, I had a crush in sixth grade. I was like sitting and he was like, we were like interacting in my dream and it's just like so weird to like think about like where your crushes are now. The thing is like, there's such a weird dynamic between myself and my crush because my sister is involved. Sis went there. Let me know if you guys want to hear the story because my sister and him ended up like <laughs> What the heck? When I liked him first. I think we'll talk about the story when my sister is here because it'll make more sense. She's not home right now. She's on campus. Sorry today's vlog is a little bit boring, but honestly, I'm getting ready to edit my main channel videos, just like work. I have uneven lips and it bothers me. You know when you have a dream with someone and you wake up and you just feel like we could have been something. Loki felt like that for like two seconds. Oh, okay. Since we're on this topic anyways. No, I'm not being sponsored on this channel to say anything, so chillax. 
Fast Chillax. I just wanted to show you guys. East me East. Oh my god. And you may wonder, Faye, are you gonna open it? I just got it because I need to like scope things out, but I'm too scared to open and actually apply, so my finger don't bend. Did you know that this is dominant and then this is recessive? Oh my gosh, on this dating app, there's a guy who was like really, really consistent on wanting to talk. And it pops up every time I open the app and I'm just like, I don't know. And plus, things between me and it is time for me to focus and edit main channel videos. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Make sure to like this video so I know that you guys are up for vlogmas this whole month. I'm starting to enjoy daily vlogging, so like... If you didn't have a good day, you can always make tomorrow better. Good night. I like good evening. Thanks. This is my Jesus. So I have a confession. I got hungry at 10. I didn't think, so I microwaved a corn dog. Actually, I put it in the oven, as you can tell. And then I called my friend, Hannah. You guys should check out her Vlogmas, her vlog channel. And you should also check out her main channel, amazing. But yeah, I called her while not thinking. I was like, put my phone here. I was kind of cleaning around, whatever. And then I see her at the gym and she's like, oh, I'm at the gym, I'll call you back later. Holy crap, what am I doing? I realized I was eating a corn dog. Not that I didn't realize. But I just wanted to confess and tell the truth. So I did take two bites of a corn dog. I feel kind of guilty, but not really guilty. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that. No biggie. <laughs> okay, bye.